Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're sharing with you three easy freezer meals to make your mornings a little bit smoother. So my name is Kristen. I'm Camille. And today we're sharing with you three easy freezer meals because really mornings are crazy. They're insane. <laughs> with kids and getting them out the door, it's crazy. And I don't like to make my kids eat cereal every single morning. And so I like to prep my breakfast so I can just give them food and then we can go out the door a little exactly, bit faster. Exactly, because mornings are stressful enough, so let, instead of making a hot breakfast, like have it all ready to go. Pull it out of the freezer, heat it in the microwave, breakfast is done. Good. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first one we're gonna make today is actually one of the most popular recipes on our blog. They're called scrambled egg muffins because you make them in a muffin tin, but basically it's scrambled eggs with whatever you want to add to it. So I'm gonna show I you love it. the quick and easy way to do this. I'm just taking some cooking spray. I've got a muffin tin here with 12 um, cavities, I guess. We're just gonna spray each one. And you wanna make sure that you get the spray in the entire cup, in the entire tin, so that it doesn't stick as you pull them out. You don't want that. <laughs> no, because then it comes out all messy. Yes. Then I'm just using large eggs. I've got 12 here. Do you want to help me crack them? Yes, I'll crack them. We're going to crack one in each muffin tin. Now, if you have a lot of people in your family, you can easily make two of these, right? And cook them at the you same bet. time. Yeah, you can make as many of these as you want. This is a fun one, too, to get your kids help with. I mean, if they can crack an egg, they're good. If you wanted to, you could also scramble the eggs in a bowl. But this is just an easy shortcut nice. that we're gonna show you. It's one less dish that you have to do. I might do it without my children because uh, <laughs> they'd we'd be eating egg shells for breakfast. Right? Yeah. Okay, so once you get all of them cracked, the rest is completely up to you. Whatever you wanna add to them. We're gonna keep it simple today and just do some ham and cheese. But before we do that, you just wanna take a whisk and kind of whisk the egg yolk in each one. There we go. Yeah, these are kind of large eggs. I would probably do a medium-sized egg, nice. um, just so you don't mess up <laughs> the muffin tin. It's a little. It's gonna be a little messy, but that's and okay. And if you if you like the egg yolk to be yeah. a little bit more runny, then I just, just leave, leave it whole. Yeah, totally. yeah. Totally leave it as is. Um, you could also use a fork if you don't have a whisk. That would work perfectly oh, too. That's a good idea. So just break the yolk in each one. Give it a little stir. A little swirl. Yep, and you'll be good to go. Now, seasonings maybe? Yeah, totally. So whatever seasonings you wanna do, I keep it simple, just do a little bit of salt and pepper nice. on each one. And the great thing is too, after these cook, you can always add more um, seasonings, like if you need more salt and pepper, if you need a little garlic powder, That's whatever true. you wanna do. That's true. Okay. The next thing that I add, I like to add, is any type of protein. So, I mean, extra protein in the morning, it's awesome. I'll I just it. bought this pre-cooked ham. Whatever nice. protein you do, you just wanna make sure it's pre-cooked. So if you're gonna do sausage or bacon, make sure you cook it first, and then you can add it to these egg cups, because nice. it's not gonna have enough time to fully cook. If you have raw you meat have raw. in there. Okay. Yep, so. Sometimes I like to take my like leftover turkey or chicken yeah. and put it in there too. I. I love yeah, chicken in my eggs. combo <laughs> is chicken and eggs. It is. But it works. I like it. I like it. It's a great it. lean protein, great way to start the day. Yes. Okay, the other thing I like to add is just cheese. Oh, sorry, I can do that. scrambled eggs without cheese. Right. Um, but from here, it really is whatever you want to add. And this is where I let my kids join in. Nice. Because they can do, we like to do peppers, we like to do zucchini, we'll do tomatoes. Ooh, I like mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms are so good. Onions. I mean, just whatever they like, and you can tell them, okay, these three muffin tins are yours. You put in whatever toppings you want, whatever you want nice. for your scrambled eggs. So once you get it all done, kind of give it a little mix, kind of push that cheese down so it can mix with the eggs a little bit more. Nice. And then you're just gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. These are gonna cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. Perfect. Mm. Oh, and also, like if you don't like the yolks, you can also do two egg whites you bet. in place of it too. Yeah. So sometimes I like to just do egg whites in the morning. That works great. Okay, right. those are ready to go. Let's put them in. All right, so okay. these have just come out of the oven they, a couple of minutes ago. I'm just gonna kind of show you how I get one out. So these are ready to eat right now, or you can just put them straight in the freezer from this. I would let them cool down all the way first. Before putting them in. Before putting them in. But I do the same thing. Just fill a big freezer bag, like a gallon size Ziploc bag, 
and put these inside and then pull out one or two or three Perfect. as needed. And just heat it up. Yeah, just heat it up in the microwave. Nice. Like I love to put salsa on top of mine. Um, nice. When I eat it, after I reheat it, just throw on some salsa. You could do some extra cheese. Nice. You wanna know my favorite thing on it? Yeah. Cottage cheese. What? I know, cottage cheese and eggs. It's so good. Okay, I'm learning so many new combos. <laughs> Chicken and eggs, cottage cheese and eggs. I eat a lot of <laughs> eggs. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. All right, so the second recipe is Instant Pot Oatmeal. Now, you can make oatmeal on the stove and this will still work. I just love making it in my Instant Pot. And then the thing I bet you didn't know is that you yeah. can freeze oatmeal. I didn't know that. No. So I also didn't know you can make it in the Instant Pot so easily. You just told me what it was and I was like, what? <laughs> it's my favorite, it's my favorite. So I'm gonna show you what I do. Okay. So you're first gonna take, I like to do two cups of oatmeal. Okay. Um, to four cups of water, so that's the ratio. So if you have okay. four cups of oatmeal, you're gonna need eight cups of water. So we're just gonna do two today because that will fill up our whole that is so muffin cool. tin. Exactly, so we're going two cups here. And then we are all, already measured out our four cups of water. So let's pour that in. Oh, I missed, I missed. We're not professional here. Yeah, right, no. this is real life. <laughs> all right, you just wanna make sure that you mix the oatmeal so every Part of oatmeal is touching water, and that is it. Okay, that's so easy. I know, right? So we're just gonna put the lid on. Now we're gonna make sure our little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so then we're gonna push the manual button, or if you have a duo, it's, a, it's the pressure cook button. So we're gonna do manual, and then we're gonna go all the way down. Come on. There we go. To one minute. So we're just gonna cook it for one minute. That is it. So That's once crazy. you set it for one minute, you're gonna just wait a few seconds and then it's gonna push and then it's gonna say on and you just walk away. Yeah. I used to not know that that's what on meant, that it like was coming to pressure. I was like, no, don't be on cook. <laughs> but it is. Yes. It's, it's working. All right, we'll let this cook and then we'll come back. Okay, so oatmeal's finished. Done. Take off that lid. Let's open it up. <laughs> There we go. Nice. So there's still a little bit of water. Can we just mix yeah, that we'll in? Yeah, we'll just mix that in and then it will all just be the perfect texture as you do yeah, it. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so my trick to freezing it Kay. is that you're gonna put it in these little cupcake trays and just freeze it just like that. Okay, cool. So I like to get like a little um, third cup or fourth cup and just make it easy to just pop it right in there. So what are these? These are like silicone. Yeah, this is a it's new metal. pan that I had. That is so cool. I know, so then when it's done, you just like, it just pops it right out. So you don't even have to spray this no, with non-stick cooking spray. Nope, it's the silicone oh, and money. it pops it, yep. Cool. So with these, I kind of just, here I'll let you do it. You just Kay. pat them down really good. And then I also, I just put the toppings on it right now Kay. while it's hot so the brown sugar will mix mm, in. So it melts in, Yes. It's all delicious. And you can really add whatever you like to put on top. Yeah. You can, I mean, from raisins to craisins to. I love raisins and cinnamon. Oh, right, it's yep. so good. But today we're just gonna add a brown sugar and Kay. a little bit of I will get started walnuts. on that. Okay. So then I kind of press the nuts down a little bit. Okay. And then I actually just stick it in the freezer just like this. Even when it's hot? Even when it's hot, I just throw it cool. right in. So I wait a few hours and then we'll pull it out. Okay. Okay, awesome, stick in the freezer. All right, so once they are all frozen, ready to go, I just popped them out of the things and they are like perfect little circles. I, yeah, I love awesome. it, I love it. So then I just put them in a freezer bag. Now you can do individual bags or you can just put them all in. So cool. this is how you warm them up. So I do about two or three for me, and I put them in a bowl, add just a little bit of milk, and then I microwave it by minute increments to see how long it will take That's to awesome. melt them and get them all ready. So Perfect. super easy, perfect breakfast if you have crazy, crazy mornings. So our last recipe, we're gonna show you how to freeze Waffles. Now, I wouldn't suggest freezing pancakes like you can. You can. But when you cook them again, lots of times they're soggy. They're soggy. Yeah, yeah. So they're not my favorite. So I actually yep. found this cute little waffle iron. It's just mini and it makes single so servings. Cute. Yes. Yeah. But it makes them the perfect size that you can stick them in the toaster oven. Yep. Or toaster. Yeah. 
and they come out perfect. So I make a lot of these and then I freeze them. It's so. like homemade Eggo waffles. Yes. But yes. they taste so much better exactly. and they're better for you. So yes. Cool. So now you can make homemade waffle mix. Yeah. But one of my favorites is the Kodiak cakes. I don't know if you guys have seen that. There's protein in it, and so I feel like yeah. it's a little bit healthier. I'm getting some protein in. My kids are getting protein, so they're not starving at school. Right? So, And yeah. it's whole grain. Like, if you read the ingredients on here, and this isn't sponsored. It's just no, our true it's opinion. It's my favorite. <laughs> like, the ingredient list, you can pronounce everything that's on there, which is a huge plus to me. Yes. So we're just going to do one cup of Kodiak cake, mm -hmm. and then three-fourths cup of water. So we're just following, literally, the instructions that are on. There, Sometimes so. I will add a little bit of cinnamon and vanilla to it as well, Ooh. just to kind of give, give it, it a better flavor. flavor. It's good. It really is good. It's just a buttermilk flavor, but cinnamon and vanilla, they make everything taste better. I agree. Okay, so you mix that. I'm going to spray this with cooking spray just because it makes my life a little bit easier if it's sprayed. It comes out really nicely. Okay, cool. All right. So, so with this, I just do about like two scoops full of the batter because you don't want it too full because it comes out the edges. So <laughs> spread it around a little bit. You sound like you're speaking from experience. Oh, and my kids too. Oh no, you did the waffles by yourself. Too much. But anyways, so you just wait for this little light to go off and it's okay. Cute. That's the cutest little waffle maker. Thank you. I love it. I you love can it. use a big waffle maker too. Definitely. You can use big waffle makers and then freeze all the waffles. And then do you just cut them into fours yeah. or what do you do? Cut okay. them into fours. Like we have some that are like squares, so there's four squares. But like uh, you said, they don't fit quite into the toaster as easily. So gotcha. I do like these. Even though it might take a little bit longer, yeah. but. This is another one too if you've got big kids. Like let them. They can do it themselves. Let them make waffles one day and then stick them all in the freezer. I love it. Okay, so when it's all done, we're just gonna open it up. That is the cutest little waffle. Wow, isn't it so cute? Yep. So cute. Perfect. And then you go again. Yep. Until your batter's done. Okay, so okay. once you've cooked a few, mm -hmm. um, I just like to stick them in a freezer bag. Yep. Perfect. And you wanna make sure they're all the way cooled down. Yes. You don't wanna put them in hot. No. And I just, I stick them on top of each other. I do too. And you can use smaller freezer bags if you want yeah. to, but. You know, I usually fill it today. all the way up. Mm -hmm. On all your stuff. Yep, mm -hmm. with like, I don't know, a dozen of those. Okay, and then I usually just pull one out or two yep. at a time, whatever totally. I need, and stick it in the toaster yep. or even stick it in the microwave is fine. Yeah, I've done that too. Well, I hope you guys loved these freezer meals. Now, if you want more freezer meal ideas, we have a lot of Instant Pot and slow cooker freezer meals. We yep. just thought it would be fun to do Breakfast. This freezer meals today. So if you want to check out those videos, there is a video link down below just for you. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up and we will see you guys next week. See you later. Bye.